All right, you guys, I'm back with another video. Let's move this over. Yep. Today I'm gonna to be making a buffalo chicken dip just in time for the Super Bowl. So here I got a small rotisserie chicken from Walmart, one of the pre-cooked ones. And we're just gonna take the meat off the bones to save everything. Even the skin, I'm keeping that on also because it has a lot of flavor in it. But I'm gonna go ahead and strip this meat off the bone and we'll get on the next part. You know, my dog, he loves rotisserie chicken bones, so he'll definitely be into eating this. But that's all. You guys, y'all know how to strip meat off a of bone bone. Especially a chicken. And that's pretty much it. I tear it in a little bite-sized pieces, that's all. So I'm going to finish tearing up this chicken, and I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I shredded up my chicken in this bowl here. I use all of it. So now I'm about to go ahead and throw my cheese in here. I'm going to shred it up inside of my food processor, but I got an 8 ounce block of extra sharp cheddar and I'm drop it on the floor. <laughs> and a six, 16 ounce pack of pepper jack, a 1 pound pack, and a 16 ounce pack of sharp cheddar. So I'm going to go ahead and shred this up in my food processor and add it to the bowl. Okay, you guys, I'll move this out of the way for you. I went ahead and shredded my cheese and put it in this grocery bag here. I'm probably not going to use all of it because there's a lot of cheese. I kind of miscalculated. <laughs> but, um, to the chicken, we're going to put in the cheese and I'm going to start it off with some cream cheese. I'll right, show you the box. I got two 8 ounce blocks of cream cheese that I set out to get to room temperature so it's easier to spread. A mix. So I'm gonna open those up. Ooh, things hard to open. So I got my knife on. First block in there. Use your hands, that's fine. As long as they're clean. And mine are definitely clean. Let's go down now. Shake that other one in there. Smells good. That. Okay, let me wash my hands real quick. Okay, guys. Let's try this shit. I'm gonna go ahead and season this while I'm at this stage right here. Why it's a little easier to mix. So I'm gonna put in some garlic pepper. And this has some salt in it, so be careful with how much you use. I'm not gonna really need a whole lot. And since the cheese got salt in it, the garlic pepper got salt in it, and the rotisserie chicken itself has salt on it too. I'm not gonna add any salt. And I usually ooh, <clears throat> I usually add sasson to this, but I can't find any. I had it in my drawer, my cupboard, but it's just gone, so I'm gonna have to go without it. But I'm gonna add a little brown paprika since I ain't got no sasson. Which I'm highly upset about because I love that stuff. And some parsley flakes. Open this top. Sprinkle it on there. Add whatever season as you like to this. You know, it's your kitchen, so do it how you want it. To onion powder. And some pepper. Judge because I'm using a spatula. <laughs> That's the only thing I can clean right now, and I didn't feel like cleaning anything else. Oops, jump shot. Oh. But it worked just fine. Just 
cream cheese is not very stirable right now, but we're going to add some liquidy compartments to it. Okay, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so to this, we're going to add some ranch, some ranch dressing. I got craft. Use whatever kind you like. Whatever you got on hand is fine. So I'm going to do a cup of ranch. Got a measuring cup out. And I'm gonna add in a cup of Frank's Buffalo sauce, Frank's Red Hot sauce. It's my favorite kind to use. It's so good. But if you want, you can make your own buffalo sauce. It's quite easy. And if y'all want me to show you how to do it, then let me know and I'll do it. And I can also show you how to make your own ranch too. Put a cup of buffalo sauce in there. Now some people like this stuff from scratch. But this right here, I like this store-bought right here. It's fine. But if you want to learn how to make all this from scratch, I can definitely show you. I'm going to show you how to do a roasted chicken. I'll go in buffalo sauce and ranch. I can show you how to make all that. And I got a block of blue cheese crumbles. A block of blue cheese. And I got four ounces of that. And I add that in the mix. I looked for blue cheese crumbles, but I couldn't find any. So I'm just crumble up the block myself and toss it in there. I love blue cheese. You know when you have wings, you usually have blue cheese and ranch. This will give you the same idea. which I really want to use my hands a spatula ain't working like I want it to I'm probably end up using my hands you guys but it's smelling good but it's a little on the thick side and I want my dip to be a little more runny than thick so I'm probably have to add some more sauce to it but in the meantime, let's go ahead and add our cheese. Remember, it's a mix of sharp cheddar, extra sharp cheddar, and pepper jack. So I'm going to take a couple handfuls, toss it in there. I'm going to just use my hands. <laughs> they clean you guys, so don't worry about all that. Oh, and I forgot one more ingredient. I need to grab it out the fridge, you guys. Which is also going to be on the inside and our garnish. Oops. I don't want to drop none of this. Okay, I'm going to grab my other ingredient. Okay, you guys. My last ingredient I forgot to add is green onions. So I got four large green onions that I chopped up. I'm going to just add that in the mix. And we're going to put some on top also. This is done, but like I was saying earlier, this is a little on the thick side for me. So I'm gonna add some more ranch and hot sauce, buffalo sauce. So I'm gonna put another cup of each. So now in total, two cups of ranch and two cups of buffalo sauce. another handful of cheese while I got it. Okay, let me add a mix. Use a spoon if you got it. Use your hands if it makes it a little easier for you. It's making it easier for me, so that's why I'm using my hands. Best tool in the kitchen, to be honest. 
try not to make a mess like I'm doing. But I'm doing it on a disposable tablecloth, so it is fine. Because I'm just throwing it away after I'm done. And that's how it looks, you guys. It's looking good to me. And make sure you give it a taste. Tasting what's on my hand is pretty good. So let's go ahead and put this in a pan. Okay, you guys. Got the pan ready here. You've seen this pan before in previous videos. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the pan, which I sprayed with nonstick spray. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. If you want to, you can add fresh garlic to it. But I just went ahead and used the garlic pepper powder. So that's why I didn't add any fresh garlic. But if you got some, definitely use it. It'd be really good. Okay. Now that that disclaimer's out of the way. <laughs> Back to the recipe. Let's smooth it out. Uh, this recipe is perfect for Super Bowl, which is tomorrow. So I'll give you time, guys some time to go ahead and get this together, hopefully. I know I should have probably came out with this a little sooner. But it's cool. Even if it's not for the Super Bowl, you still can eat it anytime. But this will definitely be a good recipe for football or basketball or anything. <laughs> okay, so we got to spread it out. So now let's put some cheese on top and finish it off. I mean, why not? Everything's better with cheddar. Mm -hmm. Cheddar and pepper jack. <laughs> you don't have to put any cheese on top if you don't want to, but I mean, come on. It's for football. You gotta have cheese on it. And this will be sitting right next to the nachos, and everybody be good and cheering for their team or whatnot. Hopefully they're making some money with the bits. <laughs> I know a lot of that's going to be going around. All right. I got my oven set on 400. I'm going to cook this probably about 40 minutes maybe. Just keep an eye on it. I say 40 minutes should be good. 30, 40. Once you get a golden brown crust on top, you're good to go. So let's go ahead and throw this in the oven and I'll see you guys. Okay, you guys, and this is my buffalo chicken cheese dip. I went ahead and let it rest after I took it out of the oven. I had it in there for 40 minutes, and I let it rest for like 10 minutes. And this is how it turned out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add these green onions on top, make it look a little better. There we go, you guys. Look at that. Don't that look better? All right. Ooh, you guys, I'm tired. I've been cooking all day trying to pump out these videos for you guys. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go ahead and plate this up with some chips so you guys can see how that looks all together. Alright you guys, and this is the final product. My buffalo chicken cheesy dip just in time for the Super Bowl. I got my Tocito Scoop chips along with some carrots and celery. And Hope you guys are considering making this recipe and give me a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time in a new video. Bye.